Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today I'm gonna to show you how to use one of my Cake Topper SVG files. It's a lot of fun and it's so different than what I was doing before with this theme. So I'm super excited to show you and it's a last minute Halloween one if you if you need something. Um, okay, so this is, um, you may recognize it, it's the Bubbles um, SVG file. So with the Bubbles, what I showed you guys was an axolotl Cake Topper and just by changing out the axolotl you can really change the theme so it's really it's like an underwater bubble theme right um but with water bubbles i also then showed you guys how i changed it to be a bubble bath one so it was a little topper for a birthday present gift um and then i also switched out the characters you can do little mermaid you could do regular mermaid you could do a narwhal you can do um you know any sort of like underwater character um or animal, right? Like dolphins or turtles and whatever. And it's just the bubbles are layered and are ready like to go. Like with all you would need to do is pick your three colors of cardstock and all of a sudden you have a very cohesive look. But this one today is like a magic potion, cauldron type like thing. So, you know, I was working on Snow White. I had like the poison apple. So I really wanted to show you how this looks. So this is kind of, I have yet to put it together. So I can't, normally I would love to show you, but I think this can go here and it can say spooky, boo, happy birthday, happy Halloween. And you can see the bubbles are kind of all around. And if you wanted to go with the apple, you can stick an apple kind of like in here or something. But it's such a cute theme. I love the bubbles. I wanted to show you what it looks like, but we're going to start from the beginning. So let's go to a new canvas. And um, I show you what the template looks like. So we'll go to upload. You can kind of see what's coming as well. I always love sharing my screen because um, when I get a sneak peek at someone else's screen, I love to be nosy. <laughs> so um, let's see. All right, so here is the axolotl one. So it comes like this, okay? So I'm gonna add it to the canvas so you can see what it would look like when you upload it to your design space. So it comes, it's the axolotl because it's um, my very own axolotl, which I think is so cute. Um, okay, so let's make this a little bit smaller so we can see everything. So what it comes with um, are the bubbles. I do like to make a copy and maybe add a, another set of bubbles or two just so that you can have extra and be ready to go but with the amount of bubbles here it does fit and it is the right number but you know you can never have enough bubbles all right so it comes with this blue is your back most layer and this is a shaker so it's gonna come so here's your back layer if you think about it your next is you're gonna put double foam on top of it so the foam creates a wall you're gonna put your sequins on the inside sequins confetti whatever you want to put inside then on top of that it's gonna be your acetate that's gonna sit on top it's clear right so you can see the confetti but it holds the confetti in we basically just built a wall with the top um, to hold everything in on top of your acetate layer you're gonna have glue and you're gonna have you know it's gonna be messy whatever you're gonna have this little cutout it's going to hide all of your issues so we try to make it you know like foolproof easy maximum um like results uh but low key on the maintenance right <laughs> so this little spiral thing will cover almost everything on top of the spirals will be all your bubbles and all your accents. So um, if you wanna create the depth, right? I had the seaweed all the way behind this blue piece. I had the axolotl on the side. You have a banner that you can put a name, little shell. So that's the whole breakdown. So what we can do in the meantime is we labeled everything so that you know how it works, but you can go over to your right hand side panel, scroll down and let's just get rid of everything. Like we know, we know what the foam is, so we could just delete that. Um, what else do we know? Here's the other foam and where's my acetate? Oh, where did it go? Am I missing it? Oh, there it is. Acetate. All right, so we got rid of that. Um, now, because we're doing 
the Halloween theme, I'm just gonna get rid of our axolotl and all of that, okay? So easily you can go over here and you can just get rid of the axolotl, um, the seaweed, and the shell. All right, um, and I, oh, there, okay. So the next thing you wanna do is you wanna bring, bring in the cauldron, right? So let's just go to images. And we'll search it and you can pick, you know, the one that works for you. But I just wanted to show you like with the bubbles, it could be so many different things, right? And you can change, it's gonna look so, oh, what happened here? Oh, I don't want uploaded. So in the ownership, right? I don't want ones that I've uploaded. I want the design space library. But sometimes when you do want, you know, to use the filters, it helps you find the things if you, you know, if there's too many that's coming up in the, sh in the search. All right, I'm pretty sure this is the one that I use. So I'm gonna select this one. I do have Cricut access, so I always try to go with, um, an image that has the A, which is included in my membership. All right, let's add that to the canvas. And very similar to you know how I go about designing pieces, I never think about the size at this moment. Right now, I just wanna make sure my cauldron is of the right size in relations to this bubble. I might wanna make that a little bit bigger. All right, so I think I'm good there. Now that we've figured out everything, I don't need these little green bubbles. And just, I just wanna compare real quick. Um, look at how boring these circles are compared to all of the, um, the features that are on these bubbles, right? We've got little cutouts, we've got bubbles, we've got layers, and that's what really makes the whole thing look um, like multi-dimensional and just more than just a flat card stock. All right. So these little green bubbles, we can just get rid of. So I can go over here and just click delete. Now, the other thing that we wanna do is these bubbles right now are in the shades of blue. We kinda of wanna go with our green theme, right? So when you go to color sync, you can see all the different colors that we have going on. We technically have four colors of blue. If you think four colors is too much, I would bring these two items down into one of these blues. But I would say a minimum of three colors of blue. There's not a lot going on here. This is pretty simple because these right here are your foam, your acid, so it's not like a ton of stuff that we're cutting. Um, okay, so let's say that you you know you only have three colors of green. Let's move this guy down to the lighter one, and this this banner. I'm gonna change it to maybe the darker one. Okay, and then we still have this one. This one's a different shade. You can make that more of, I'll go with the lighter one. Okay, so now we have three shades of blue, a white layer, you have your black cauldron, um, acetate and foam, that's it. So it's, you know, minimal. All right, so let's, let me show you how I would do this. I would change, let's go to layers and ungroup. Oh no, you know what, um, am I ready to ungroup? Let's see how big everything is. So right now, this is really big. This is, well, because I'm at 25% as well. So let's do this. Let's select all. And when you're getting my SVG templates, anytime that you're changing the size of something, I do recommend selecting all because you want everything to be resized so that it matches with each other. Because right now it, it is matched, you know, to be pieced together. So if we want to select all, make it a little bit smaller, and let's see how big our cauldron is at this point. Um, it's 11 inches by six inches. So this whole thing is going to be pretty big. Um, we can ungroup this right now and we can look at the cauldron. I mean, basically everything's gonna fit in between the cauldron and the little template that we're putting all our all of our water bubbles on. So if you grab two of these like this, then you know what your total dimension size is. So this still feels a little bit big to me. I'm gonna make it maybe in the eight inch. So now this looks about, oh no! I just did what I told you not to do. Undo this. <laughs> Hold up, undo this. Okay, 
now everything's the right size. Okay, so I'm gonna put this down here. I'm going to select all and now make it smaller so that everything gets resized. All right, let's see how big this is now. Let's see if this is about what I want. Uh, it's still a little bit big, so let's grab all of this make it a little bit smaller and I think I'm gonna be okay with this. All right, it's now 8.3 inches by 11 inches. We're totally good with this. Um, now we can zoom in again. So this is pretty much ready to go. Well, where is my stuff? What just happened? Oh, look at that. Like what? Let me zoom out a little bit, okay. Um, so what I would do at this point is, for instance, this one, I would change, that's my most light one, I'm gonna change it to my green. You actually don't need to, but if it helps you design by changing all the colors, if you don't, what I would do is, when you go to the Make It screen, anything with the light blue, when that cuts, I'm gonna do my lightest shade of green. Then I'm gonna do my um, second, you know, my darker shade of green and then my darkest shade of green with this one so you don't have to change the colors but if you want to change the colors because you want to add a lot of a lot more pieces and you want to be able to visually see what you're doing then i would at this point do this so i made this green right so all of my light blue is going to be my light green so i'm going to now move all these pieces down or into that color so you see things are gonna start to change and you'll be able to see the results of that. Okay, then my next one, I'm gonna do, let's go back to layers. And this is my next dark one, right? Not my darkest. So I'm gonna go to change the color and I'm gonna go to this green, okay? So then I'm gonna go to Color Sync to get all of those greens, all of those mid blue ones into this mid green one. Right, and then the last one, I'm gonna go back to layers and I'm gonna to go to that most dark blue one, this one, <clears throat> and I'm gonna change it to my most dark green color. So I'm gonna change it here like that. Um, oh, that's you're gonna be your top layer, your back layer, I would probably still keep it white. So it's gonna pop out like that. Okay, let's go to color sync. And we're gonna move everything in this dark blue to this dark green. You see the potion coming along? I just, I love it. Let me make this smaller so we can see everything here. All right, so you're gonna start to see like, it's gonna look like this. It's so cute. And I would use foam, foam tape so that it pops out. You could do something like this. And maybe like, right here and then you can put an apple you can put the number you can put whatever you want so you can kind of see so what i like to do is because let's go to the make it screen so you can see how big and how much paper you're using um i like to duplicate some bubbles at this point because um you know, if something rips or you lose it, you have extra, or if you make a mistake, if you add another layer of bubbles, you can hide your like the glue drip or whatever. So you can see all of, this is the acetate. This is the white layer. So we definitely can add, you know, it's only less than half a sheet right now. Here is the foam, um, two layers of foam. Here's the cauldron. Here's the dark green. So you can move some of these over to make it more efficient. These are grouped together um, so that it goes with the bubbles and I didn't bother to ungroup them. If you ungroup them, then you can move even more, right? You can, um, but see like with this green, I would only wanna cut this green one time. Let's, you can add a couple more bubbles and it still would be half a sheet. So that's kind of like my whole point of this. Um, all right, this one. How big is this? Oh, it's big. Let's see if we can get it. No, we wouldn't be able to fit it all. Okay. Um, 
But what I would do is I would change this to 12 by 24, even if you don't have a 12 by 24 mat uh, or 12 by 24 paper, um, because you can kind of move this and you can save the inside as a cutout, right? So you could put these in there and not waste more paper to cut these items because this is empty space, right? Um, so you could cut something like this, okay. My whole point of this is that you can add a few, duplicate a few more bubbles and every color, each sheet of green would only be about half a sheet and it would still, then you can have the extra bubbles if you were doing a K-topper, you can have extra ones just on straws for people to take a picture with, um, with your cupcakes, whatever it is. All right, let's get out of this. This is pretty much a done deal. The only thing you need to add is, like I said, the number and any kind of, um, saying that you want to add to this banner but it is pretty complete you can add you know a five happy birthday or just the name what i would do for the name is let's go and zoom in for this really quickly i would um do a name right so i'm going to do sam let's say and where is my sam it's coming <laughs> Um, it didn't come. All right, let me type again. Text. There. Um, I would, if you're doing a print, I would do all caps. Because you see how it's kind of, I don't know, it doesn't look good to me. So I'm going to change this to this. And depending on what you do, if you're just going to do letters, then you can obviously just um, cut out each individual letter and then you know put it on the banner so it fits kind of up, down, up, down a little bit. Or if you're gonna do an offset, so I'm gonna show you how to do the offset right now. If you're gonna do an offset, you kind of want this to curve first, right? So let's go to curve and let's make this curve, oops, other way. if you like that, or you can individually move these. So I'm gonna ungroup it and I'm gonna move it. Cause you know how I like to do my offset and I also like to um, maybe like that. Okay, so let's say we like this, okay? I'm gonna move this little guy out of the way. I'm gonna grab this. I like my layers. So I'm gonna go to offset and I like my offset on the thinner side, so I'm just gonna type in 0 0.10 and hit tab. And that gives me this. Now, you see how the S is not connected to the A? I'm gonna cancel this for just a split second, and I'm gonna move this S over just a bit. Just enough so that my offset is connected and it's gonna be one piece. So I'm gonna grab this now and go to offset. Or my other option would have been to make the offset bigger, right? but I don't like it bigger. <laughs> um, why aren't you giving me 0 0.10? No. Okay, there. So I'm gonna click apply. And you see how my offset now works? Okay, so let's say I want to do my first layer. I'm gonna do it in, um, I mean, if we were doing like the poison apple, maybe I would do this in red. I would do the offset in white because it really stands out. Um, and then I might do another layer after this. Now with this layer though, I wanna quickly click on it and go to contour. Because I wanna show you, I don't like an offset like with this little bub little cutout, it's so unnecessary. So I'm just gonna make it one clean piece, okay? Then I'm gonna click on offset and I'm gonna apply this one. And on this one, maybe I'll make this one a different green. Um, let's see, I'm gonna go maybe with the light green because the dark green is already here. So it's gonna look like and it's gonna pop out. You can make it a little bit smaller. You can always resize it at this point, right? If you wanted to, if you felt like you wanted it more in the banner. Um, and that's it. So I hope that was helpful. 
check out the pictures i'm gonna be piecing mine together tomorrow i know it's so late <laughs> all right um comments questions special requests let me know thank you so much and i will talk to you guys later